Okay, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to make this pencil box here and slightly different to a lot of the other pencil boxes we've done in the past. We've got uh, a lid on the top, a sliding lid and a sliding drawer underneath. Um, we developed this pencil box because we had to add an extra element to the existing pencil box. Uh, it was a little bit too simple and we also had to make it a little bit safer than the existing pencil box uh, and we've done that through eliminating a lot of the uh, chisel work that goes with the joints. So we don't require a chisel for this pencil box uh, but it's still quite interesting because it's got uh, an extra level, an extra drawer in the bottom. When you first go to start your pencil box, you should have already referred to the Google SketchUp drawings that are on Blackboard and also have completed the test that's on Blackboard referring to the measurements. And you need some certain equipment to start with and during the course of making the pencil box you're going to need to use all of the tools I have in front of me and you're going to need all the timber that's provided as well. We'll go through it. the tools that we need. We need a bench hook, a pencil, a hammer, a square, a tenon saw, a ruler, a sanding block and some sandpaper. Ah, and over this side. I've also got some glue and some nails. Now we use some 30 to 35 millimetre nails for driving into the larger pieces of timber and we use some little 20 mil nails, a bit hard to hold, they're a bit small, there for driving into the plywood. Okay, so little nails for the plywood and the larger nails for the timber. Uh, secondly, you're going to need to use a plane at some time. Here we've got the pass we'll need. You'll need four pieces of plywood throughout the project. One piece of timber with two slots cut in it. That makes up the sides and ends of your box. One piece of timber that makes up the sides of the drawer. And one little piece of timber that makes up a handle for your sliding lid. 